Good day ladies and gents, my name is Kills and welcome to this thing. It's a new new day and new interesting things are happening on the internet. But before we start, I just want to thank the over 1100 people that are currently subscribed on my channel. I just passed a thousand yesterday and I just want to thank you once again and to express just how happy I am. Thank you very much. You're the ones that give me the strength and the motivation to keep going. Thanks again. So today I have uh, a very good and very fun development on the whole Black Myth Wukong storyline that I covered recently. It would seem like that an apology was attempted by none other than IGN who posted an entire article reviewing the gameplay that they did on the testing site of Black Myth Wukong. And the article is actually almost all praise for the game mechanics, for the view, for the looks of the game it almost seems like that some previous articles that were posted by IGN never happened and this would be the case because we have a quite a lengthy news article with a lot of chapters that express the different kinds of the souls like game that they're calling it which it's not far from the truth to be honest, because I've watched quite a bit of Dark Souls, Elden Ring gameplays, although I haven't played them because they just couldn't grab me. And it does feel a bit like those games from the gameplay that I've seen on the article. However, it also seems like a bit more dynamic, which caught my interest immediately. And apparently the one who's testing the game from IGN also thinks so too. It's exceptionally quick and agile. Enemies are aggressive, bosses are relentless, and you only have a scant few restorative potions to keep you alive. Highlighting these parts of the text are what they want to bring forth, which is actually exciting to gamers when you read about such a game. And the article goes on quite a bit to explaining different mechanics, different environments, how it looks beautiful, how it looks fluid, how even in this early stage it still looks amazing. And it would have been kind of a half-assed apology just praising uh, a game that you previously spent so much time and effort uh, slandering and then we get to the last part which is about our report from last year now if you haven't watched the videos regarding this topic the report from last year is for regarding allegedly misogynistic offensive and sexist messages that were posted from the game creators that were reported again allegedly by female gamers and female representatives of the game industry in china this was of course without any proper citation or proper sources to be mentioned when you only have ign's words on the matter and after asman gold's video exposed that the tweets in the articles were actually intentionally or unintentionally translated Translated poorly, Twitter actually added a disclaimer on the original article saying that these tweets were unintentionally or intentionally translated poorly and they actually include the link to Asmund Gold's video which just goes to show that when someone does an effort in exposing such bullshit and such idiocy you can rest assured that eventually everyone will know the truth. But back on the report section in the current article. In this article, Rebecca Valentine is acting explaining what has happened in that last report and instead of addressing the issue that the whole article was yellow journalism at best and it was full of discrepancies and absolute uh, non-truths to say the least she defends the original article and actually goes to explain that uh, she had the opportunity to see black meat wukong at the summer game fest and the appointment was admittedly a little strange to quote, I was told as a part of my invitation that game signings would have a statement related to the reports of sexism. I arrived at the appointment and saw the game as planned, but when I asked for the promised statement, I was told by a PR representative that game science is focused on the demo during play days and will only answer questions related to the gameplay. So she was told by who? Who told her? Was it a written statement or did someone actually mention it just uh, by mouth? So you don't have any proof that you were actually told that this was going to happen. 
and you try to spin it around like the game uh, company is trying to lie to you and not honoring their promises. And she continues, Mitchell's preview doesn't need my validation, but for what it's worth, I fully back everything he's written here. Black Myth Wukong looks like it will be a great game. It's gorgeous with snappy combat, fantastic monster design and some really interesting boss fights. It is also true that several other people who are making it have made disparaging remarks about women and don't seem to be interested either in retracting their past statements or in supporting the numerous women who are being harassed in online conversation about Black Mean Wukong purely for expressing their discomfort with those statements. Those were false statements. They were translated poorly and this is actually proven by a lot of people and officially proven that this is not true that what you wrote last year is not true why do you keep defending it you're like an ostrich just burying your head in the ground and not owning to your mistakes if there were mistakes and the last thing that she wrote one last note i didn't see any women or Fem coded characters. What is fem coded characters in? Do you mean trans people? Do you mean people with womanly features who are not women? Is that what you think? I didn't see any women or fem coded characters in the demo, and I was able to confirm that the game sense that there from game sense that there were none present in the section of the game presented to the press. There will be women in the final game, but for now it is impossible to really comment on whether or not game sense developers expressed beliefs permeate Black Meat Wukong in a meaningful way. So it's all about representations. Why do you need it? I mean, yeah, okay, there will be, I know that you want to have, but pointing that out as a last note that you didn't see in the demo, why is that important? If it was the other way around, would it be important as well? I mean, you can make the same argument regarding female-led games that you didn't have any male characters in the beginning or in the demo or at all. The problem with your views is that they only serve you. You only want them to be meaningful to you. If someone were to flip that around, you would immediately call them a sexist, a misogynist, a whatever. Some istophobes, some phobes, some absolute derogatory terms that you're so catered to saying that you don't even know what they mean or if they're appropriate to be told. You're so devoid of critical thinking. I only see two scenarios here. Either IGN is so devoid of the ability to take ownership of their mistakes, their choices, their statements, or they're just so deep into the DEI ESG woke cesspool that they have to be very careful not to offend anyone while trying to do what they were supposed to do in the first place and this is cover video game news impartially. And when you're a company like that, and I'm actually sure that there are a lot of people at IGN who truly, truly just want to not have to do anything with DEI walk or just representing different stuff on that spectrum. They just want to cover video games. They don't want to have to include in their articles uh, if someone was misrepresented or if it was not woke enough or if it was not uh, female enough or whatever. They just want to play the game, review the game, review the gameplay, review the characters as personalities and how deep they go and they just want to leave a good review or a good news story for other players to go i'm sure i'm sure that there's a lot of people and i hope that these people finally open their eyes and have a little bit of a lion's heart and just stand up to the idiocy because you have these great websites once great websites that were giants and you see them fall down in into ruin just because they were manipulated or for some reason convinced that being woke and dei is good and i hope once again that we are seeing the turning of the tide and the rise of quality games quality journalism and just quality entertainment as a whole and ending the 
absolute shit show that it is the woke mob so anyways this is all i have for today once again thank you for being here thank you for watching if you enjoyed my content leave a like leave a comment tell me what you think if you want to see more subscribe follow me on my socials and support me on patreon which is the best way to support this channel thank you and cheers and stay fresh